Hi guys! Okay, so first thing is first, the Canadian and US iTunes and a lot of other countries iTunes now has the new Utari Hikaru single, Sakura Nageshi, available. Um, so if you are a fan, you should probably check that out if you haven't already. Um, it's been in the Canadian iTunes store for almost a week now, I think. Um, so yes, we got it. Um, yeah, so today I want to show you my Amuro Namie collection. And um, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's pretty small. It's smaller than my other artist collections. Um, so yeah, I will start. So this is the first CD I got of hers. It's Best Fiction. Um, this is the cover. This is the back. Um, I like the album art, but I have an issue with this cover, and it's that it's really, really, really overly photoshopped. Um, you probably can't tell from this, but if you have seen the actual image, um, her hair is entirely digitally repainted, and just like her dress is airbrushed a lot, and like the skirt part, and I, I don't know, especially the hair just really bothers me. Like, I don't know why they had to repaint it so much, but it just looks awkward to me. Um, and I broke this case. I don't know how. Yeah, it's entirely broken. And this is the version that comes with the DVD. So this is the CD. And this is the DVD. It's, um, I can't remember if this is actually the concert or music videos. I should have figured that out. <laughs> I forget. Um, but yeah, I really like the colors in this. Um, I should probably replace this case. It looks pretty bad. And here's the booklet. It's exactly the same as the cover. There's a different image in the back. Um, again, her hair is totally repainted. So I don't know if that was just a look they were going for or what, but... Yep. Repainted hair. Totally digital hair. Uh, yeah, the book's not too exciting. And then the next album I have, Jumping Head, is Past future. Well, I guess you would technically say past, less than, future. I don't know how you would actually say this title. Um, and this is the two disc version as well. It is the CD. I'll show you how it unfolds like this. Um, the CD and DVD. I don't know why that wasn't upside down. Yeah. So I like this album. I think it's very cool. Um, and she's actually tearing the image from the the Best Fiction um, album art on the cover of this. That's funny. Yep. Oh, this got damaged right there. I, I, it looks like I treat my stuff so badly. I have so many broken CD cases and stuff. So that's that. Um, yeah, if you're just starting to listen to Nemi Emoto, I definitely recommend these two albums uh, if you're going to start with anything. I think these are both her strongest works, so yeah. And then this is the Best Fiction Tour. <clears throat> Again, like digitally overpainted image. Um, this is a little bit different, like the entire thing is overpainted, so like her face looks like it's digital paint and stuff, it's not just her hair or whatever. Um, I bought this in a store in New York City's Chinatown that sold mostly Japanese pop stuff. Um, I don't know where it was, the name of it. Um, sorry. <laughs> This is about $20, I think. Um, and the CDs I think I got in, in New York as well. And they're pretty reasonable too. I think they're under $20 each. Um, and I, I can't really tell if this is a legitimate copy or not. I've never seen another copy of this in a store, so 
um, but like the the images on the back look low res and like the text is very blurry and stuff so I don't know and then when you actually open it this is like the dust sleeve on it or whatever and you open it there's no book or anything so I don't know like the actual disc and the album art look legit so I really don't know um, but I got lucky and I got this in a region code that works here so yeah um, I really really like this concert it's this is like the first thing that really made me start to fall in love with Nami Emiro. Um she's definitely my top three favorite Japanese artists um, usually her and Kodakumi are like jockeying for spot number two on my list so um, right now I think it's Kodakumi just because I thought Japanesque was such an amazing album but um, I really like Nami Emiro and I started to really like her after I watched this performance um, because it's just uh, so long. <laughs> I thought the set list was a lot longer than a lot of artists um, and she never loses her vocal stamina through the whole thing and she's just like dancing and you know singing uh, with so much energy that I don't know I was just super impressed by that and so after that I started to really get into her music. Yeah, that's it. Um, I know I said in another video that I have all of her albums and I technically have them on my hard drive because I'm a bad person and downloaded them. But I do want to buy them. Um, it's not my fault that I like music from another country, right? So, um, actually iTunes removed a bunch of her stuff from their store here. Um, which is pretty bad. Like, they actually used to have a couple of her albums and a bunch of her music videos, um, which I was able to buy before they removed them. Uh, but now I just checked iTunes and there's nothing on there. There's like the app, her app that you can get. And that's it. Um, which is pretty sad. So if anyone from Avex who speaks English is watching this, if you want to make money, you should put her stuff back in the iTunes store, please. <laughs> um, yeah, like not even her latest singles or anything are in there anymore. So, come on guys. <laughs> anyway, that is it for now. Um, I hope you guys all enjoy the holiday season, whatever you're celebrating. I hope you get to see your friends and family. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.